Hey friends, what's up? Kaz here. This week, I can't believe I haven't done an overview or tutorial of this plugin because it is a fantastic plugin. It's very popular. It's had almost 2 million downloads, which is awesome. The author being Acrobot, and of course, this is Chess Shop. It's uh, it's essential. Every anytime you got an economy in your in your server, it's very essential that you have this plugin. It just allows players to buy and sell uh, from each other, plain and simple. Using very simply, using a sign and a chest, um, and it works with all all kinds of protection plugins. It works with all kinds of. I mean, it works with LWC. Works with uh, Lockhead. It works with Townie and Factions and uh, World Guard. It's awesome. Let's hop in the config file. To get this config file, of course, you just run your jar file in your plugins folder, and that's it. There's really there's no dependencies for this plugin, which is great. Most economy plugins require some sort of, require a vault, but this does not. If you're using one of these basic these three main uh, economy plugins, you don't need vault. If you're using another one, you need Vault. But anyway, I use Essentials, so that's what this is going on. Um, I've used Iconomy. I haven't used Boss Economy, but uh, they're all pretty much the same. So anyway, this just uh, this limits the shop interaction in interval. Uh, pretty much all these all these settings are kind of for flair. It it is up and running as soon as you you get this plugin going it's pretty much good to go if you don't like the fact that it's right click to buy and left click to sell you can set this to true and it flips the sides you can ignore creative mode you can do a shift sell and that sells everything that you have of that item um, allows a sign to chest allow and sign chest open that's pretty much like the owners they can right click on the sign their own signs and opens the chest um, yeah that's pretty much everything is pretty much straightforward in here remove empty shops uh this will destroy the sign put it in the chest uh this will destroy the chest um this is kind of important if you're having an admin shop which uh brings economy into or money into the economy or removes items out of it uh you can name those customized i usually i think i just leave them at admin shop you could put taxes in it too if you want to make your uh server a little more interesting you can also put shop creation price and then how much you get back if you destroyed it if you destroy your shop um some servers do that i don't do it but you know whatever you want you can also uh allow partial transactions which i find very helpful you can show out of stock messages uh transit you can do transaction information to clients so when you're walking around and somebody buys or sells something from you you're told which is kind of cool um yeah oh yeah that's for a client and an owner so that makes sense anyway you can do log to file if you want to uh, uh file you know keep track of all the transactions you could do that but you know it can get pretty crazy you can do it to a database all that stuff uh you can do stick signs to chest yeah pretty much it also has its own built-in protection, but it does work with LWC and all that stuff. And then here's where you can do townie integration. So in townie, you can set plots to be shop or market plots, and you can set it so you can only set shops on those plots in those towns. You also do world guard integration. You can only set shops in world guarded regions. Um, you can also do the use flag, which uh, if you're using world guard, you can do region region name flag chess shop allow or deny if you want to restrict where they are if you want to set up like markets so they can only build in that area put chess shops there um yeah then you also works with heroes if you want to give people xp for creating a shop so that's pretty much it it's really big and long but um the config file isn't that complicated it's pretty straightforward let's hop in the game i'll show you how to create a sign and then i'll show you the permissions as well Okay, so here we are. Um, I'm on my server. Actually, I'm on my live server this time, and there's a couple people on. Um, say hi to uh, Caleb and Zen Gamer. Shout out. Anyway, uh, let's do this. Let's kick this pig. Okay. Okay, so what you want to do is you want to leave the first line blank. Uh, if you're making this for somebody else, you want to put their username in there. 
Otherwise, you do the item ID or the the amount per transaction is line two, and then the cost is uh, how much they're gonna pay you for it is the buy, and then how much you'll pay them for the item is the sell. Now, keep in mind that that's always from the customer's perspe perspective. Do not get it flipped around. You'll be out a lot of money. I was playing on a prison server and was out a few hundred thousand overnight because I have got that flipped around. But hey, I ended up with a lot of enchantment tables, which was kind of nice. Anyway, uh, then you put your item ID or your uh, item name in the last line. And that's pretty much straightforward. So now you can buy and sell stone uh, from it. And I can't really show you but um keep in mind that that's always from the customer's perspective i can't stress that enough oh the one the last thing to do is uh if you forget if you don't know the item name you can do item slash item info this is helpful if you have enchantment items or anything like that because it'll they have some crazy item ids um and then that's about it so, oh the last part the last part admin shops so for admin shops you're going to do it's just you put admin shop for the first line. That's pretty much it. That's the only thing that's different. If you customize this in your config file, then go ahead and change it in there. And that's pretty much it. And finally, we got the permissions here. Uh, for pretty much pretty basic, if you just want people to be able to use, buy, sell, create chess shops, you can do chessshop.shop.star, as you can see here. Now, on my server, I have it broken down a little more. Uh, there's a trial rank called Stranger, and you're only able to buy and sell if you're a stranger. You can't create a shop until you're a member. So you can split that up using these permission nodes here. The last one is chessshop.mod and .admin. Mod just allows you to open any chess and destroy, destroy any chess shop. And then uh, if you're an admin, that allows you to do all that except, and then also create admin shops. That's pretty much it. Guys, uh, if you check the, the description, there's downloads for everything that I've used here. I also have a download for um, just a drag drop, start up a, your own economy server. It has essentials already configured and chess shop already configured. So you can download that in the link. I also have a few other ones there. I'm slowly updating them to 1.51. This one is and that's pretty much it. If you found this helpful, please uh, leave a press like and leave a comment in the description below. Helps me out. Helps me continue doing this. And uh, if you have any other plugins that you want help with, let me know. If you have questions, put them in the comments below. I'll do my best to answer. Your best bet is probably just to post on the author's page. And uh, yeah, as always, this is Cos from Mick Friends. And hey, enjoy the game. Be. Who's that? Be. I'll be. 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 And I'm a little preoccupied. Well, get on it. <laughs> <laughs> Jump on it. I'm coming. I'm coming. You know what? No, you, you can do this. Sure.